So think of hybrid also as this. People get used to what their RPEs are, and it's like, okay, on day one, their RP is X, Y, Z, and it's, it's less than what it should be, probably. Once they dial in and they get a true RP, that's why you should always say, well, they said uh, there were nine. You look like a seven to me, I'm gonna say that nicely, it's not offensive, but okay, so let's say, well, I average out as an eight today, but really, you need to realize that you're a little bit weaker than what you realize, and I need to get a little bit more out of you, I'm gonna do it in a nice, safe, rational way. But once they have gotten to a certain point and they're ready for a hybrid, they now know what a real RP is. <laughs> so what some of those RPs were much higher than what a normal standard dialed inset would be. So their ability to take it past a certain point in their ping times is going to be much radically different. So the 71421 would build a, a radical amount of new enzymes in Chris to help shuttle out and buffer lactic acid so we could actually come back in their normal phase and hit it much harder. And say a 710 would be nothing after doing 71421. So we'd come back a better person. There's a point in objective and reason to it. It's not just to be cruel and unusual. You'd be coming out of there with, with an objective. So you can organize those things out when you see it on paper in a better way to make them all fit, but they pretty much fit there. Hybrids do have a lot more value in general. So think of it that way as a super accumulation thing. Um, okay, Brian is doing barbell bench press with an eight second negative plus three second lockouts plus two, three, four straps. We got a lot of elements all going on. We could add fat grips and some bands and chains all at the same time and a Swiss ball. <laughs> uh, but no, he's doing eight second negatives, three second locks out, then lockouts. Now, think of this, disregard the four straps for a second. Think about the clients who are all over the place. So, a boy, all over the place, Robert Shears all over the place. This is an excellent cure for people who can't control the shit. And if you're worried about them ever doing fives or threes and all that stuff, this is exactly how you fix it. It doesn't have to be an eight second negative. It could be a four second controlled negative. Four, three, two, one up. Hold for one, two, three, four, three, two, one. They're slowing it down so they dial in and get tighter. So fives can be actually really hard and good and dialed and tight. Now, uh, if you remember Todd, when he was repping out like crazy on the incline over there, you know, and he was killing it, but then we started slowing his negatives down. He was fried in about five reps. So it's different. So there's explosive right, you know, There's explosive reps. There's controlled and slow and tight reps. Even though it's five, doesn't mean it needs to be explosive and, and, and fast all the time. So, uh, so three second lockout, four second negative is a great way to dial them in. I do that a lot, boy. Um, anyway, that's not the point of this. So for Brian, um, next. So I'm sorry. Incline machine uh, plus manual resistance will be pushing on the weight against him. It won't go as heavy as normal. I'm in complete control of that. Um, next, dumbbell decline fly the press plus the bands. Uh, dumbbell decline bench plus four straps and low pulley chest fly the pull-ups uh, and some other crap. So, all right, barbell bench press. We're going to start with 135 with his warm-up sets because the whole point of this is even with the client, you need to practice the cue and tempo with him. Because they're going to fuck it up every single time. So, I need, and Ryan's going to fuck it up, right? So, uh, we'll get this one back for him. And it's going to be, make sure all the normal elements and cues are there, but it's eight seconds down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one up for one, two, three, eight. You are a freaking uh, auctioneer here, so you gotta be ready for it, get some water. Explain the whole protocol to him, make sure there's no confusion, and then get yourself ready to say it and be a hawk on him. I mean, look, I'm sweating hard on all of you guys, and all I've been doing is coaching. And that's just for being physically and mentally engaged and having this coach. What's that? No, we do a re-rack. Maybe you should watch the tape and listen to everything I just said. Okay, now we're going 10 reps, 8 second negative, 3 second lockout on this first set. So we're going to ramp you up first on your warm up set. So let's say he did the bar for 10 reps with regular tempo. I'm fine with that. But on his first set, so let's say he normally does a 135, 185, 205 bench press uh, ramp up on your last phase. I would still consider maybe starting with uh, uh, 135, 185 is questionable, but I would start chopping down those jumps to be a little bit smaller so you don't end up killing them. You'll know after this first set what the best approach would be. Does that make sense? Can I explain all that right? Yeah, so, regular set, uh, 10 reps, eight second negative, three second lockout. So feet, butt, shoulders all dialed in. Go ahead and pull up and stop. And ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and push. One, two, three, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up. One, two, three, two, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up. One, two, three, three. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up. One, two, three, four. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up. One, two, three, five. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up. Two, three, six. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up. Two, three, seven. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and. Up, two, three, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and 
Up, two, three, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up, two, three, ten, rack it. A little slow, but that's probably real seconds there. But really, it's just the eight. So relative to what his normal speed is, eight second slowdown is going to be probably one, two, and up. So it's relatively much slower. So as long as it's your eight second tempo, that's fine with me. We don't have to be pompous and watch the stop clock and all that shit. So uh, how did that feel? Six. Six. Let's get to the point where to go 185, and I'm thinking this will be like a six to ten rep range. If he busts his balls, he might get more than six. But so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he bench presses probably over suicide grip style. That's not going to go well on this one normally. I'm going to let you stay that way, but typically I would go with the thumb. As soon as he gets fatigued and tired, and, and like the Todd bench press, we don't lock out, the triceps are going to be haywire and not going to help him. So I would work to lock them out. No big deal, but just say, he's going to bring FYI. So do whatever you want to do. But uh, yeah, one. <clears throat> yeah, so six to failure, same tempo. One more time. This is when you crush the tracheal inside his skull. <laughs> right, right, right. 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 Feet, butt, shoulder, good solid grip. Come out first and lock out three seconds, then down for eight. And ready, one, two, three, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, touch, up. One, two, three, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up. Two, one, two, three, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up. And one, two, three, three, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. One, two, three, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. Two, three, five, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. Two, three, six, eight, seven, oh, six, Ryan. five, four, three, two, one, and up. Two, three, seven, Slow eight, chest. seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. up Come push, on. push, push, one, yeah. two, three, a racket. If they were hit failure like that on that set, which they will, I would still get them up to lock it out with that three second lockout in the last one. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's effort. We get a CPR over here. Uh, I'm not seeing that in the bench press in one. Uh, that's so hard. So, uh, so, real important, this is going to happen every set. On their work sets, they're going to, they're going to hit failure uh, and go limp halfway through that range. Get them to lock out, hold that one, two, three, then rack it. Otherwise, they're going to get limp. <laughs> <laughs> got to steal the show, don't you? I'm trying to make a point here. <laughs> See you So, uh, okay, we got it all. So, you saw how I messed up the tempo on that. I messed up the count there, so a matter of getting on the uh, right tempo, so I don't confuse him or myself when we stay on the right rhythm. So, that's number one. You make the rest of it?